Hi there. Today we are going to talk about digital stickers and what I do with them inside my digital planner. I don't know, I, to be honest, I haven't really researched this, what other people are doing, but this has worked for me for, I'm going to say about a year and a half to two years or more. And it hasn't, I haven't needed anything new. So I'm going to show you what I do. And you guys let me know if I'm missing the boat on something. Um, so this is the contents page of the Strong Planner. And when you click from the contents page, and if you've seen, in, if, if this is your first video, I would highly recommend go and watch a couple of the other my videos and um, a couple more that are coming in the next uh, two weeks. Um, but if you're just starting out, this is the contents page and there's over 50 hyperlinks on this one page. But we're going to go into where I have my sticker book and I'm going to tell you why I put it here and things like that. So in the upper right corner, this is what I call docs. And if you notice, home, work, grow, care, love, play. I kind of like four letter words, <laughs> 2022, 2023, everything's in four letters except for right here. And docs worked really well because it's all the templates. So I'm going to click here. And what this is, is this is where you would go in the strong planner for over 500 docs because there's 50 in white in the, I call them 50 in these, um, five lights. I call them, these are my, uh, light colors and these are my bright colors. So there's 50 and 50. So there's 500 pages right here, just right here. Then you get note cards, note boards, and you get your font library placeholder right here. But this is where we're talking today. And that's the sticker book. Now, remember in all of the dashboards and all of the landing pillar pages, Okay, let's go back. Remember the check mark takes you back to your contents page. So like if you go into home, remember you get to customize these areas. There's over 28 custom areas for you um, in the strong planner. So like in personal care, like in this one here, this is my skin care. This is where I do inventory. This is my um, capsule wardrobe goes here. And I can't remember what's right here. But you guys know that you get all these custom areas. Well, it's the same thing in docs. You get four custom areas. And like my number one position now is color palettes. I love collecting color palettes. I've been probably doing it for 10 years. And so I added that feature in the custom area in my strong digital planner. But what used to be right here was my sticker book. And about a year and a half ago, I decided since I already had these sections, instead of taking up one of my one, two, three, four, I was going to make a sticker book section for everybody. And so it then fell down into the subs down here. Um, so I called these the sub areas under docs. And so when you click on, oops, not the dash, not the font tracker. When you click on, let's go back. Sorry, and I didn't even get back the right way. When you click on the sticker book, you get the dashboard. And if you haven't seen my dashboard tour, you want to do that. And let's see, did I already load this? Let me go into mine. So this is my planner right here. And okay, so this is my dashboard for my sticker book. And I made this a long time ago. I don't use this system anymore, but I still love it. Um, it works for me, but when you click right here on the dashboard, I just covered it up with some font and, um, I made more white space and I put this pretty, um, sticker here. Um, so this is your dashboard here. Then when you move into your sticker book, you get two pages. It's not a big deal, but I'll show you how I use them. So you get one in white and you get one in dark mode. And then it goes into your custom areas. That's all you get in the sticker book. Doesn't seem like a big deal, is it? But this is what it turns into. So when you go past your dashboard, you get your one white page. So this is one of my favorites. And I used my first white page. I laid down all of these stickers that I used for spring. Um, and I even covered up 
the white, uh, there's a line here and stuff. I made, I wanted more white space and I wanted to use a fun font. If you guys have watched my videos very much, wait till you see my font tracker <laughs> that's coming out here in like two days. Um, I love fonts. And so like, you know, you guys probably love stickers more than I do. Um, I do have a lot in here. I didn't realize I had so many, but I'm sure you guys have way more than I do because on social media, I see you guys collecting stickers. I don't do that. Um, and I'll go over that in a moment. So anyway, um, I wanted to take away the word stickers and the line here. I wanted mine to be more white. But then what happens is when I wanted another page, I just click in the upper right corner and I duplicate the sticker page. And then I could put another set of stickers right here. And then I could duplicate my template page and again and again. Okay. And so, but remember you also get one in dark mode. Okay. So let me show you my book and how it works. So remember you land here and this is my first sticker page after the dashboard. So I'm here and I just keep adding as I need them. So we just added two more. So here was page one. We just together added page two and we added page three. I'm going to keep swiping and you guys can see how crazy I am. Okay. So remember, <laughs> I kind of went a little crazy in Canva and I made some rainbow planner stickers. I have no idea why I made this many. I probably was watching a TV show with Ted because quite often when we're watching TV, I have my iPad open and often I'm in Canva making all these kind of different things for my planner and things that I can give to you as freebies and stuff like that. So as you keep swiping, you're going to see, and remember my main colors in my planners are these colors. These are my main brand colors. You guys, these stickers right here are in Canva. You got to be on Canva Pro and you can make these any colors you want. I just want to pull in, look at that sticker. That's adorable. And that's on Canva Pro. Once you have it, you change it to any colors you want and you can download it. Now, remember, I'm talking about personal use here. I'm not talking commercial use. This is for our own personal use. But look at that. I've used these so much. Okay, and you're going to see on my planner pages, you'll see like these three dots right here. And I'll show you in just a moment what those mean. So here's another dog planner stickers. Yes, I made all of these in Canva. So like, for example, if I wanted that yellow sticker, um, I would come to my lasso, I would click image and I would lasso my yellow doggy and I would then copy and paste it like this. I would copy and paste onto another planner page. And so I'd go paste and then I would, whatever page I was on, I had another yellow doggy. So I leave these here. It's just copying paste. Okay. And let's just keep going. Yes, I love dog stickers and house stickers, home stickers. So I remember the three dots that I was showing you a couple pages back. I usually turn these white. I usually come here and I go into color and I turn them white. And the reason is, is I like to keep what the name of this project was in Canva, like, and what I searched for the keywords. And then quite often I have a link right here. Um, uh, let's go here. Should be right here. Okay. Maybe I didn't put it in there. There should be a link right there to this project in Canva. And that's what my three dots are. So then I come in here and I just take my pen or my, um, highlighter. It doesn't matter to me. And then I come in here and I turn this project white. Cause again, I, you know, guys, I like a lot of white space around my stickers and all my pages. So it looks like this. So now, um, I just want to remind you guys, I'm at a campground where I'm in my Airstream and you probably hear a dog barking, but just act like we're at the campgrounds together. You're looking over my shoulder and ignore that 
I think my neighbor in the camp um, site next to us, I think they have a golden retriever puppy. And you see how many dog stickers I have. You know that I love dogs. So um, I hope it doesn't bother you. Anyway, let's flip through my stickers. Watch this. I'm just going to go. And you guys, this is crazy. Office, office, office. <laughs> you need some glasses. <laughs> need some more glasses. I don't know why I named them office, but I just duplicated the page, and that's you'll and you'll notice that some of my labels are not correct. But these are fun washies I love to use. Okay, I kind of went crazy with summer stickers. Yes, I went a little crazy with summer stickers, and I used these in my July monthly page. It was all about summer because we went to the beach. And then I have bike stickers and then social planner stickers. This is kind of stuff I use around my social media stuff. And then I have, oh, and I didn't change this, but then I have a lot of word stickers more. And then I have these, I was testing these out. These are some of the, um, stickers that are in the strong planner and I was testing them. You don't get this color, but, um, I just wanted to test the stickers and I'm like, I mean, come on, look at that. I love them. I love them. I love them. Okay. And let me just keep flipping. Yes. There's spa stickers, fitness stickers, lashes. Okay. Come on. Look at that shoe. Isn't that adorable? I love the shoe and the hat. And then lashes. Yes, you guys, these are all Canva crafty planner stickers. And then I have some, I probably have a lot of them hid, but I have icons for my client work stickers that I use in the work section of my planner. So that's what some of these are. Books and I have arrows and I have these clothing. I mean, come on, look at those pants. Come on. <laughs> Okay, and the cowboy boots. Okay, I could keep going. And then I have a lot of bubbles. I really like to use bubbles throughout my um, planner also. Okay, so let me get to the point I'm trying to get to. You guys, we're going into fall. Look at that. Okay, so that coffee cup, look at that. That's on Canva. Isn't that, and that so cute. You need a scarf? I think the best thing on the page might be those boots right there. Come on. Adorable. Okay, I'm going to speed it up because I won't take forever. I have word stickers, and I do believe these were from Canva also. Um, I think I probably made that one there because I recognize that font. And then I have trees, stars, chandeliers, spa, tea time. You're going to see my point here in just a second. And then fun planner stickers. I thought these were really stinking cute too. They just make me happy when I add them on the page. And then, okay, that's what I thought. So then remember when you are in here, you get two pages, you get white mode and you get the dark. Okay. So, and remember all I do is I just keep duplicating my pages and I add more as, as many as I need. So again, now I'm in my dark mode, which I love dark mode. Look at how, well, my brand colors just really pop off of um, the dark mode. I mean, just look at that stunning. And then here, yeah, I have a lot of camping and I just put them in the dark mode. And so, I mean, how, look at that flashlight. Isn't that, a, that's such great detail. And so you can, that means just how much you can customize them. Okay. So you guys can see that's how I use my planner sticker in my strong planner. Now let me talk really quick. I also add my stickers to my phone in albums. So I have an iPhone, I have iCloud and photos on my phone, you know, like most of you do. Um, if you're on something other than an iPhone, you have the folder system in photos also. And so I have them on my iPad and I have them um, in folders, in my photos, in my stickers, because I already had them there from years and years and years ago. That was just another way that I organized them. But I will let you know, I also have some, but not all of them in the elements feature here in good notes. And I have them organized like you see them in my planner on my computer, not all, but a lot 
in the same folder system. So like you would see fitness planner stickers because I label my Canva projects the same as I label my file folders and oops, sorry, I'm in the wrong side. It's like camping planner stickers. This is what you would see my in my um, like the finder or explorer uh, if you're on a PC, you know, your file systems. That's how I have mine. And that's how I label my albums in my photos. And it's how I label my Canva projects. So it makes it really organized and quick. And if you're starting, I highly recommend creating a system that works for you. And, you know, as you go forward, um, you'll just stay organized. And if you can go back and do a little cleaning, you know, clean up a little bit from your past too. And it just speeds everything up. So I think that is everything you guys probably want to know about Strong Planner, the sticker book, because I got a question on this today. And I already was going to show you guys my stickers because um, I get a lot of questions about them. Um, now, I'm sure you guys have way more than I do, but I have a lot. But this is all from Canva. So if you're not in Canva, go to my clicktoplan.co, go into the about section and you can see all the tools and sources and resources of things that I use. Click on Canva and see what you can see some of the other benefits and then grab the pro trial. And I think you get 30 or 45 days and play with it. I think you're going to agree with me that it's worth every penny. And you guys know I have other videos showing you how to use Canva and how to use your stickers and get them to your digital planner. So I think that's good for right now. If I forgot anything, if I, if you, you know, if you have suggestions or things I should do it differently, let me know what you think. Again, I haven't changed my system in stickers in a long time probably at least a year and a half, but probably more like two years. Cause I think it was, I have had this system all during COVID. I don't think I had any changing here. So anyway, put the comments, DM me, whatever you want and let me know what you think. And I adore you guys. Happy clicking and planning. And yeah. Oh, Hey, if you're not in digital planners with Canva Facebook group, jump over there, get in there and we'll play and plan and talk digital planning in Canva even more. And again, that's digital planners with Canva Facebook group. All right, you guys, again, I adore you. Happy clicking and planning. Bye-bye.